In this video, I will share with you a six step plan. If you apply them, you will fix your sleep 100%. My name is Yunus Bin Suwan, and I myself was struggling with sleep for so many years until I found these three books The Miracle Morning, Why We Sleep, and The 5 AM Club. This video is inspired by those three books, and I have developed this six step plan from the things that worked in my life, and I'm sure it will work for you too. The first step is to have a strong why. Ask yourself, why do I want to fix my sleep? What are the benefits for me? Is it worth it or not? Find the strong reasons why you want to fix your sleep. Because in the long term, your why is what will make you keep respecting your sleeping schedule. So find your why. The second step is to determine how many hours of sleep you need. In average, it is advisable to sleep no less than 6 hours and no more than 9 hours. Anything between 6 and 9 hours of sleep is considered to be enough sleep. So, how many hours of sleep do you need? If you are not sure, then try to do this test. For a week, try to track yourself. Track the time when you go to bed and the time when you first open your eyes naturally without being distracted by the alarm clock or something like that. So, write the time when you fall asleep and the time when you first open your eyes. And after a week of tracking, you will start noticing how many hours of sleep you need. After you determine how many hours of sleep do you need, now it's time for the step number three. Set a deadline on what time you should be asleep and what time you want to wake up at every day. For example, if you found that you need seven hours of sleep and you want to wake up every day at 6 a.m., then it is obvious that you need to be in bed at 11 p.m. So 11 p.m. is your deadline. Science says that we take 15 minutes to fall asleep, so it's better to set a deadline 13 minutes before. Set a deadline at 10.30 that you should be in bed doing nothing, just closing your eyes. And you must respect this deadline in order to keep waking up at 6 a.m. Otherwise, you won't have enough sleep and you will wake up tired and you may sleep some hours during the day. So respect your deadline. And this step is not enough without the fourth step, which is to have a planned morning routine to do immediately after you wake up. Most of us, when we wake up, we use our phone, we browse social medias, we see what's going on, and we start the day in a reactive way. We just go with the waves of the day without being in control of our time and what we want to do. So having a morning routine will make you start your day in a conscious way. Make sure to start your morning routine without your phone. For example, my morning routine is I wake up every day at 5 a.m. and I write down two goals that I want to accomplish that day, two important goals for me. Then I read for one hour or two and I move to the fifth step, which is the most important step. You should reward yourself. Without rewarding yourself, your brain will associate the sleeping schedule with pain and discomfort and it will start avoiding it. So make sure that you reward yourself. You may give yourself a piece of chocolate after you finish your morning routine, or you may take a nap in the evening, a 20 minutes nap or 25. I personally do 20 minutes nap when I feel tired during the day. The last step, and this is an important step for the long term in order to keep your sleeping schedule for the long term, is to be aware of the three stages that you will go through. In total, there are 66 days before you reach the automaticity point. You need to know how to deal with those 66 days. And I made a video about this. You will find it here. This video explains the three stages that you will go through in installing any new habit, specifically the habit of sleep. Most people fail in the first stage of the first 22 days. So make sure to watch the video to not fall into this trap. If you like the things that I shared with you in this video, show it by clicking like. If you don't, then click dislike. And if you have any feedback or question, make sure to write them in the comments below. I read all the comments. And see you in the next video.